we are back in the studio for another hopefully interesting season of the Taylor Dillon Show. Okay, although I am torn as to whether we should call this a season or a cycle, you know, kind of like how Tyra Banks has her cycles. So uh, maybe we need a new word to describe it. But whatever you call it, we are back with Jared Lee from Pretty Dumb Podcast to have some coffee talk and throw some shade. Uh, so now put your umbrellas away because we are about to throw some shade on this season of the UK's Drag Race. Or keep it out if you prefer, you know, keep it off you. Uh, so once again, we are going to be talking about RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, so spoiler alerts for anyone who has not yet seen or had a chance to see this season of um, the first season of the UK spinoff of the show. I'm, I'm a little sad that we were unable to recap the Thailand cast, but it is what it is. Uh, now, I must also say that this podcast is full of our own opinions based purely on what the producers have shown us. Uh, we do not personally need to attack any of these girls, and I do not condone the recent behaviors of fans who do attack or threaten the girls who they feel are doing better than their favorites. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments, concerns, uh, please feel free to email me at the Taylor Dillon Show at gmail.com. Or if you want to be a guest on the podcast, drop us a line. We are always looking for guests, whether to do it live in the studio with us or over the phone. Um, so we're going to recap the girls that we have so far. Um, well, I say so far, but I mean, they are the only girls for the season. So here we go. Bag of Chips, 29 years old from London. Blue Hydrangea, 23 from Belfast. Cheryl Hole, 25 from Essex. Crystal, 34 from London. Uh, Davina De Campo, 35 from West Yorkshire. Scaredy Cat, 19 from Wiltshire. I hope I'm getting these city names correct. Uh, Something Wong, 30 from Birmingham. Vinegar Strokes, 34 from London. The Vivian, 26, from Liverpool. Um, Gothy Kendall, 21, from Leicester. I can't, I'm not sure if that one's correct or not. Uh, with our special guest judges this week, we have Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, and alternating judges, Alan Carr. Uh, so we will be joined in the studio by Jared Lee, who is just getting his makeup on right now, I'm sure, and stay tuned. God save the Queen. Railway, railway, railway. Railway, railway. Uh, What's up? Wow, that's a lot of echo I'm getting from you. Ooh. You're actually very white with that. That's what I was light. saying. There we go. How's that? That's better, right? Jolly good. Jolly good. Jolly good. Jolly good. Chip, chip. We're Jolly back. Good. Yay. I know you missed us, even though no one said anything. Well, we're back. someone did, but it was, it was me. you. It was me. Yeah, it was you. I'm needy. And... And welcome. And welcome back. Uh, we're filming from across the pond. Yes, we flew all the way to the UK to film this episode. The ranking game. Every time we make a UK reference or slang, have a shot. I don't really know any UK reference. We just said, like, from... across the pond. Oh. Um, that's not really slang, though. Or okay, anything UK related. Like, okay, you're gonna anything be UK so related. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pip, pip, cheerio, and all that jazz. Pip, okay. pip, cheerio. So this is RuPaul's Drag Race UK. In case you haven't noticed, time. yeah, there are things going on in the background. Yes, there are. Um, Our then, studio is under renovation right now, and we are not helping to... No, we are not. Fix but it. it's taking pounds, yeah. just like in British. Ooh. Take a shot. It's getting pounded? I'm so... No, it's not. No. Okay. I think that is fun. No. Okay. All right. So let's start. Okay. Um, we have... One, two, ten. three, ten queens. If my adding was correct. Okay. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because okay. I know Taylor hates long okay. podcasts. So we're starting with Bag of Chips. She's from London. London. She's 29 years old. And she from came London. in with a sequin cheetah spot outfit. I love it. I love her hair. You I love, love her hair? I, I just kind of like that. It's her natural. It reminds me of Tabitha Coffee. Do you remember the coffee? It does, but she also is giving me a little ginger minge occasionally. She's also yes. kind of giving me a little bit of Filipino slash Ooh. Hispanic heritage. She might be Filipino so? or Hispanic. I don't know. Okay. She might be. Next up, we have... Blue Hydrangea. Blue Hydrangea. So, I like the outfit. I like the hair. How do you feel about the no titties? I didn't really like the whole no titties, but I like that unlike in America, she's going for that nude illusion, so she has it still all covered up. She gives me, um, 
Aquaria vibes. She does. I, I kind of also like that really a lot of them aren't really doing much to hide their wig lines. You see that <laughs> well, <that's> shade? <laughs> but she's not even the worst one. No the shade. The worst one is coming up in a bit. No tea, no shade. Just but, okay, so Blue Hydrangea, she's 23 years old. She is from Belfast. Um, she's got, um, but she's got fans in her. She has fans in her? She has fans. I need to take more, like, descriptive notes. Yeah. She's got fans in it. Do you think because she's a um, look queen, she's on Instagram and she has fans? Probably that's what it is. Sure. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's what it yes. is. Next up, we've got Divina De Campo or DDC. DDC. You are not watching DDC. 35 years old shot. from West Yorkshire. Uh, she has a laugh. Yes, she does. She has a laugh. I like the outfit. It's cute. And she's got credits. She has credits. She's she's the Willem. Yes, yeah, so I, I was gonna say she the is UK. the Willem of the UK. She <laughs> just wants to list everything that she has done. Um, entrance look. Are we liking it? I mean, it's cute. I would get rid of the little faux fur thing that she's going on, or maybe it's real fur, but I'd probably get rid of that. I like it. If you were like just doing a performance at the yeah. club, it's probably this not isn't good for walking a first to the like when you walk in. I want to be like. <gasps> You want to be like breathtaking, like. And this is like, okay, oh, so it's poor, cute. I know poor Tenman's going bankrupt, so this is what you got. Yeah, it's cute for like that going out to dinner. Look. Cute for taste, yeah, not for a sample. And then we got Crystal, just Crystal, Crystal, just Crystal. One name, thirty-four she's years old love. from London. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe, maybe it's by dysmorphia, maybe maybe which is probably the best one. I I wasn't yet. that whole uniboob. Yeah. Yeah. But I like her face though. The mug is good, but there's good. too much. With the uniboob, like... And it's covering too much of her. But I want that belt, though. Yeah. It's cute, though. The hair it's is kind of... We've seen it. I don't know about those boots, though, with that outfit, but what else? And then we've got my Asian sister next. Something warm. Something warm. And if you don't like it, me so sorry. 30 years old from Birmingham. Um, just speaking of lace, this is the lace you can see. She's yes. got lace longer than my... It's like... Penis. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So Which take it as you it's, want. It's a different look. I don't like the it. UK, they have a different style than we do. But it's not pretty though. Yeah. Well, and as she says, she has to make her own stuff. She doesn't have the money, so she. So you make own. ugly stuff. Yes. I, I know queens who make their own stuff, and it's pretty. <laughs> not me. It's but... not hideous. It's just. I think. Okay. Well, I don't like this weird pink. Yeah, I don't thing get going on. Over thing going For those on. people who are watching, we were watch I took pictures. You took pictures. And that's why we keep looking to uh -huh. what it is that yeah. we're looking. Uh, I don't like the pink thing. If she took out the pink thing, leave the orange. I like the orange thing. Yeah. The orange thing and is the coat nice. is cute-ish. See, the coat I feel like would shine more. If she got rid of the... the it looks like you get some over. weird, like, coral leaf on you. Yeah. What else? Cheryl Ho. I like the name. 25 years old from Essex. Another queen who reminds of Aquaria. I could see Aquaria wearing this. Yeah. It's... Props to the long hair, because long hair is a bitch to maintain. Yeah. I mean, it's... And it's cute. It... She's also cute as a boy. So yeah, she's cute. very cute as a boy. But... Um, also, her face looks skinnier as a boy than as a woman, which is weird, because... Yeah. Isn't it normally the other way around? Well, she has, a pound, like, a pound of makeup on, right? So... Oh. A British pound of makeup. A British pound? Take a shot! <laughs> Okay. okay. Um, Gothi Kendall, which out of character to got you Kendall. Twenty one years old from Light Leicester, Leicester. I don't know how you pronounce that. Leicester. Leicester. I don't know. I, don't know. I am really bad with my British heritage. I'm sorry. You should have done your research. I should have. Um, she does the same thing I used to do when I had bad teeth, which would be to cover your mouth every time you laugh. But yeah. her teeth look better than how mine did. At least yeah. hers is asymmetrical. And at least she had more than one. Yeah, true. She had at least two. Uh-huh. One on the left, one on the right. One on the right. Vinegar Strokes. 34 from London. The, the West End Queen. Wait, we didn't even talk about Gothi Kendall. Oh, Gothi Kendall's outfit. outfit. It's... Simple. It's simple. It's like a semi-transparent It's I Dream of Genie. Modern I, I don't dream Remember of Remember how I Dream of Genie had the pink... She's got those little bumpets going on that are just... Which you call it anal beads. Yeah. Okay. Anal beads. Vinegar Strokes. Okay, the... Our first African-American queen, I'm assuming. Should I not label this? And the West End uh, queen, because she's, she's, she's a performer. She's, she's like the Broadway equivalent. She's in um, Everybody's Talking About Jamie. Yes. Everybody's Talking About Jamie. Everybody's Talking About Jamie. Or was, 
Alongside with Tisha Visage. Yes. Um, I was there. I'm not a fan of her boob contour. It looks like she just got brown lipstick and put it on. Yeah. Um, I mean, and apparently some of them didn't seem to be too much of a fan of the wig because they were just like ooh, that hair. Especially one girl. She's like, mm, mm, she came with that, that hair. hair. And her uh, Michelle Visage impression sounded more like it worked on for Yeah. But I mean, her and Michelle are friends, so they were dance partners. But Michelle did say she would judge. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Scary Cat. Our first straight contestant. So straight, 19 years old. Very young. Youngest Wilshire. in all drag race. Yeah, because in the US you have to be 21 to be on the you show. You have to be? Yeah. You have to be Is 21. drinking age different in UK? The UK, yes. I believe it is. 19? I think it's 19 over there. She's only been doing drag for 11 months. And she's, she's straight and has a girlfriend. Who also does drag. Yeah, she's a drag boy. Which is a thing. Which I is know, a thing. I know girls I who dress in drag and perform in that. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see. Conversation. It'll be interesting to see how long Scaredy Cat lasts. But Scaredy Cat also has never performed in drag. Never. Nor has she gone to the clubs. Correct. Which but is fine if you want to just be a look queen. But if you, yeah. I think, in my opinion, you should go to the gay you clubs. You should. If you're going to go on something like this, you should go to the gay clubs at least once and watch the drag shows and before you get know in. know how to perform. And yes. Although there are queens who have gone for a long time and still can't perform. So. Exactly. Nope, it's not there. Not there. Nope. No. Next up, we have the Vivian. Okay, best outfit, I think, hands down. 26 years old from Liverpool. She won Drag Ambassador. I guess I guess some club had yeah. a con- contest for and you. And was there. And Rue was there, and she crowned the Ambassador. It's a cute outfit. I do like it. I like the hair. I like the sunglasses. I like it's the material. Overall, I mean, this is this is kind of more of a club, or an entrance look. Yes. If you're going to go in boy drag, at least... You know, have it be something a little bit more glamorous. Yes. Yes. Okay, and then they have their first mini challenge, which the is first a photo shoot. Mini challenge. So uh, it's uh, uh. Well, so more than just a photo shoot, though, because they're doing green screen photos. They're shoot. doing green screen photo shoots, but they're doing with um, digital like postcards where they can talk. That's right. So I thought this get was to cute. narrate as well. Um, and I'm glad we finally got a photo shoot again because we haven't done a photo shoot in America before Star Race in a while. Yeah. Um, and the Brits also just go to show that they're not as uptight with their photo shoots as Americans. Yeah. Brits also don't follow the same rules as America. Like, yeah. there is one, um, what is it, was it, not Diabantes, what is it? Did... Davina de Campo? Davina de Campo, I believe, is the one who has a hairy chest uh-huh. and hairy armpits. Yeah. And also kind of cute. They don't follow the same, like, aesthetic. And I like that. Follow. I like that. And it's funny. Because uh, that's what drag is. You're not supposed to... You're not supposed to follow, follow the, rules. the rules. It's funny, though, when you think about it, because Americans, you know, they ran away from the UK because they felt it was too uptight, and now we're more uptight than our British ancestor. You know? Go figure. Is Go there figure. a filter on this? No. My skin looks so fucking good. <laughs> Maybe oh there God. is. Did you surprise Maybe I put the season one filter on Did you surprise the season one filter? Because look how good... You guys, if you ever see me in person, you will know that my skin Maybe is not this smooth. Maybe this is the season one filter. Ooh. I don't know. It's a new app that I'm using because it goes with my um, camera. Season one filter. Season one filter. I had to turn filter. off the moving part, but I mean, if I could turn that back on, and then I could just follow myself. But look, the Does skin still work? looks divine. Does that oh, is it, it's counting down? I think because I was already filming, I don't know if it'll let me do the face. No, it doesn't let me do it. I think it doesn't let me do it because I was already filming when I turned that on. Darn. Our fans are gonna love this part of this show. <laughs> okay, Their so mother will be raving about it. Um, do we want? To, let's just choose who is our favorite one. Well, first of all, that uh, the Brit crew. The Brit crew. Cute. Look, they looked cute, but they looked also very uncomfortable in the beginning. They're like, yeah. like when Rue made her uh, rape jokes. Yeah. They're mm. like, mm. well, you know, I mean, they're probably more straight boys than they are the gay boys there, but. I didn't. Really I was think. surprised how many of these towns didn't really have drag shows. Yeah, like the well, asking. they're small towns. They have like a population of like ten. Oh, they're that small. A lot of them. Okay, maybe not quite ten, but I mean they're right, right, like fifty yeah. or something. When you compare it to like here, I mean yeah. London is where you go to get uh-huh. a big cultural experience, and a lot of the other ones are just small. Are the towns that close to London that they can just do big stuff? Uh-huh. Okay, because I imagine them like traveling from. It's like, you know, I came from Eva Beach. I came from Mapa oh. Kilo kind of a thing. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah. I thought they were, like, in other... No. 
they're a small town. Not yeah. for the same thing, because that seems I'm more uneducated. Yeah, so they may have to travel like an hour or two to get there, but still. Oh, that one, that's my favorite. Right this there. one? The kind of destination one? Yes. Um, okay, do we agree with who won? Let's go that way, then. Okay, so the winner was... Scaredy Cat. Scaredy Cat, the 19-year-old. The straight boy won. I think I just shut myself. It was cute, but I don't know if it necessarily should have won. Okay. I mean, it was cute, but I I was kind of leaning more toward Bag of Chips. I kind of like Bag of Chips. Bag of Chips had some good lines, too. She had some good liners, and I was trying to figure out what exactly were they judging it off of. The pose of the body, the pose of the face, and the lines that they were giving, or was it just off of the body and the face? Yeah, I did like Bag of Chips. I, did, I think she should have won. No. I also, like, the runner-up was... Um, Divina, Divina. Was that, she was the one that did like the share voice and then yeah. she did now, Maggie's And the hard voice. part was you had to have an oh, overall that? concept when you were doing it because you needed to figure out your body and make sure that the head matched up Her. in order to have it. And some of it was clever with the whole I'm holding my head, I'm kicking no, my head No, this is uh, the Vivian. Yes. Yeah, the Vivian yeah, so I thought good. also was a good first runner up. It was a good first runner It was a good runner up. Truly. Where are we at now? Okay, so. Guest judge. So they're having two looks for this first one. Two looks. Guest judges are Andrew Garfield and um, Alan Carr. I've never heard of Alan Carr. He's, yeah, well, you're not from the UK. He, so he's only. I mean, people only really know Andrew Garfield because he was um, Spider Man. So. Short lived. Yes. But still. So. Maxi challenge is the Queen Elizabeth, and then the other look your hometown. is Queen of Your Hometown, which they've done before. Yes. Represent your state. That was season. The one with Miss. Ba- no. No. Uh, it was the one with Miss Magic. It was the one where they had the surprise as Miss Cuckoo come yeah. up. Yeah. Now, I guess American audiences will probably have a hard time figuring out a lot of these references just because we don't know these looks. So unless they're giving us a celebrity from their hometown, we really don't know what their hometown Correct. So we will be judging superficially on looks. Okay, yes. First up we have Miss Crystal. Three Day Benda. Three Day Benda. (laughs) So Crystal, okay. I... She has notes. I have notes. I like... I liked the dress. I don't really... I mean, the whole... I didn't get the whole wording Three on it, but I did like the dress. I liked the overall look. I it probably would lose the jacket, though. I don't like the jacket. Because that was just kind of thrown off. But it is very, like, blue Barbie doll. And this is the one where she had pearls for hair. Yes. That must have been heavy. She reminds me very much of, like... I don't know. It's the pearl look. It's just... Like Pearl Liaison? No, I don't know. It's kind of an, almost an Adore Delano. It's mm. like which her black. You know, she's also talking about Honey Mahogany because Honey Mahogany kind of also wears that same gold yes. thing that she. A wears. little bit, a little bit. Next up, we have Cheryl Ho. Sh- Courtney, cute, Courtney cute, act. Cute fucking. Woman. I love the dress. The dress is very cute. It is very fishy. I loved the fake tan she had going on. The she reminds me of what's her face from Nine, the movie. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Or very Courtney act. Very Courtney act. She is very fishy. Very we'll give her that. She is a very fishy girl. Boy. Uh, your favorite is next. Something, Something wrong. wrong. Okay, I just didn't like the bow horns, bow horns. And I didn't like the big nose ring. But other than that, I thought it was Are they nice known outfit. for bowls? Is that why? Apparently. I do like the dress. I like the chest. I don't mind the horns. The I chest like, is I like the painted chest. It looks a little bit too high, though. It does look a little high, but it still works. For that. And I do appreciate that I can't see my lace front. Yes. She's hiding her lace front this time, so that's good. Next, and, uh, we have Blue Hydrangea, Hydrangea, who is known for cranes and so, the Titanic. What I didn't get was the whole Blue Hydrangea. She said, I'm, everything I wear is blue. And then she <laughs> comes out in a yellow dress. <laughs> so she's already deviated from her normality in the first episode. Everything I wear is blue. Here I am in my pretty yellow. Yellow. So I like the dress. Very I like the hair. Uh huh. I, would I do like her. Cranes. I like the dark hair on her. I would get rid of the cranes, but it's what her town apparently is known for. But maybe she could have incorporated. I would get rid of the, the boa because it's not. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, and the ostrich feathers are nice. I like those. 
Yeah. Bag of chips. chips, my favorite. Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. It is a cute dress, and even without her saying this is an Amy Winehouse tribute, you just know yeah. that this is Amy Winehouse. I also love how proud they are of getting sloshed. Yes. Take a shot. Take a shot. They're like, you know, other people would be ashamed of this, but my hometown, we are proud of being alcoholics. Uh -huh. Maybe that's where I should move. Maybe. That's your kind of people. That's my people. But it is a cute dress. It's I like the dress. outfit. I like her makeup. It was all in the performance because I yeah. think if the performance wasn't there, the dress would just be like... Exactly. Pedestrian. But she did it good. Ooh, pedestrian. pedestrian. Nice yeah. word. Is that our word of the day? That's a three-syllable... That's a four-syllable... <laughs> Pedestrian. <laughs> I'm sober. No, your three letter word was, would be pedophile. No, that's four. Pedophile. That's your word, but we're not going to go into that. All right, the Vivian. The so, Vivian. Every time I hear her name, I just think the Vixen, and it just gets me all worked up. I do think like, Vixen, she but I also villain? think of Vivian Panay. Yes, okay. So she's supposed to be what? Viv she's, she's supposed to be a famous designer. Singer. Famous? Singer? Okay. She's a famous singer. No, I mean her look. Oh. Her, her plaid jumpsuit look, which is cute. It's boy drag. It's cute. It works for her. I've never seen the singer in person or Neither her picture, I. so I can, couldn't I get the know reference. Who I can't get the reference. The makeup, though, is a little harsh. The I'm makeup not... is kind of Marilyn Manson. Yes, it is kind but of But I guess maybe Manson. that was maybe? the singer's look. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Vinegar and strokes. strokes. I like the sparkles. <laughs> I didn't like the belt. And then when they mentioned that it's the Thames River, it was like, I still just don't get why she has it on her cooch like Or that. at least make it like flowing down. Yeah. Or s sew it into the dress so it's part of the material and yeah. it moves. Well, apparently hard. the original one she wanted to wear was copywritten. It was like the the bus line or whatever. Oh. And it went out like this, like a kimono. And it was copywritten? I guess so. Like, or something. So she, mm. it was... It was it, like another designer did it before, so she couldn't copy or it. Or it went against some law where she couldn't. Ah. Learn. Sometimes what you want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kendall, can we just do it? Can we? Rawr. So for Alan Carr was like, oh, oh shit, I missed it. I'm sorry, I missed it. You know what? I really like this look though, and it kind of reminded me of when I did Tony the Tiger for Halloween. Okay, okay. see, but the whole f the face doesn't go with the dress or the hair. True. Okay. So yeah. that's what I'm not getting on it. Like maybe the dress with the different hair would be cute, and the makeup with a different costume would be cute. But okay. together, yeah. It's if we were doing the whole toot and boot, this would be a boot for me. It would be a toot for me. It would be a two two. But boots. Adam Carr's story also was hilarious. It was when he was like, it was like she went and got her face painted and came back to the office. And goes, what do you think, ladies? Rawr. Yeah. It I was, don't like it a lot I though. Know. I mean, it's a great makeup job though. I just I'm not. Yeah, and she's cute as a boy though. She kinda. is cute as a boy. Okay, way. so scary cat, and we have her shoes. Yeah, okay, I took a better picture. Okay, she kind of looks like a young Cher. So I'm looking at it going. Was she in the like the West End revival of Cats? Like, is she uh, like Miss she Night? was. She was in. No, she's doing Grizabella Origins. So I get it. Her name is Cat. So she's gonna do everything cat related. You think this look is cat related? Look at the hair. It's so cats. Look at the face. Just because it looks like Grizabella. It's very Grizabella the glamour. It cat. is very cat lady. Also her outfit. I'll give but you I that. mean, also, what do you expect? She is someone who's never done drag really before. But like eleven months, and she's a straight boy trying to do drag. So yeah, that right there is, is gonna give cute. her a challenge. I will give her that. This look is a little bit better than some other looks I've seen in drag race like, history. I do like the fact though that she's a straight boy doing drag because it does show that anyone can do drag. You don't have to be gay. Exactly. I'm curious to see what more she's going to do, though. Yes. I'm very curious to see. Do we know the campo? I really like this look. I like the I like leg. The, the I rubber the hair. Dress. I liked it. Do you think there's a lot going on, though? Because she's doing the pudding. She's doing the high tea. I she's didn't... doing... Like, that whole trumpet coming off her chest. The trumpets. I didn't yeah. like the trumpets coming off her chest. I wish she could have incorporated her trumpets a little better. Mm. She, why don't you... Oh, she could just sound like a trumpet. Well, she did this a lot. Yeah, but I mean... But just, she had to do something yeah. in order to... Exactly. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Uh, okay, so okay. now we're back. So now we're on the second part of the runway. The second part of the runway. Which is Queen Realness. First up, Crystal. Crystal. I did like her I like this utilitarian... Not utilitarian. Yeah, military. It is very boy drag, but I liked it. It was cute. Yeah. She lost her hat though when she was exiting, and she that was hilarious. Did. 
but she did she did a good job of duplicating. Yeah, she the even costume. said the medal. She said, yeah, and her epaulets and all that. Epaulets. It's cute. That's I, what it is. I give it a two, Crystal. I will give it a two, also, Crystal. Cheryl yes. Hole. So they didn't really like her outfit. I liked it, but I I hear what they were saying about it being simple and her yeah. lacking a purse. But even you gotta have a purse. You she even said it in the rule message. You gotta have a purse, but it does look like what the queen would wear. Also, side note, because of this background, I always think they're holding an umbrella. <laughs> they have a big, it's like a um, big ass circle, and it looks like they're a just big like parasol. Um, I do like it, but yeah. I wish she had a purse. I wish she had, and I purse. want more drag. Yes. Something Wong, very clever. Very clever, the whole staff. She thought outside of the box by being inside a box. I think though it would have been better if when she made her first entrance, if she'd come in with a solo with the um, side profile mm. to make it actually be the stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did like the back when it said "lick me." Yeah, that was cute though. Very, cute. very simple costume though. Very simple dress. I, I like it dress show off the dress, but I do like it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because she has a drapery underneath her yeah. arm. But it would make a sickening performing it would. dress. It would. As long as you're not lip syncing for your life. And then we've got another Blue outside Ranger. the box. What color is she wearing? I don't understand not this. Blue. Okay. I, it was clever. It was like clever. It. She's supposed to be the coin. But her face is painted silver, but I wish she, it stops at her jawline. And I wish it went all the way at least down and then faded out. So my problem I had with this was that... She's not the, wearing blue. It's clever in concept, but the minute you go full face front... Unless you got chopped in the face. <laughs> Chop, 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 chop. But when she's like on the side, then yeah, you see looks the squid going around, and that looks, that looks good. I wonder how she. I wonder how she made the squid though. Do you think she just slid it? Probably just. Because yeah. you can't do this, and then. Yeah, no, she probably has a. She probably had a custom cut to be her profile. So that like she can just slide it. Yeah. Like someone has to. But someone has to slide it. And right then how do you do this though without messing up the makeup? Maybe she put it on first and then. Did and then you. Around yeah, it. she's doing this, and then yeah. she's doing. Oh, Maybe. Girl. I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out. Sure. <laughs> but then we got email. But I'm sorry. Uh, bag of chips. Bag of chips. Come on. Doesn't she also look like um? Imelda Stanton. She also kind of looks like Consuela from. Oh yeah, a little. <laughs> Will and Grace. It is a cute outfit. Kind of looks like a ladybug. The though. makeup is a little harsh though for me. The the blush right there. Yeah. It's a little harsh, the way. and just the jawline, the way it just like shoo. But she's got a purse, yeah. She has the purse though, yay. Yeah, it is. She paints like me, and that's not a good thing. No. It's never good to paint like Jared. Um, I give it a boot. A boot? A boot. A boot. It's a boot town, we give you a boot. Let's give it a boot. <laughs> okay, so. And then she's wearing a fake nose. <laughs> no. This one. Okay, so the queen actually dresses like this when she goes out to We're talking Scotland. about um, the Vivian. Vivian. Right? Is it the Vivian? Um, yeah, yes, the Vivian. The Vivian. Mm -hmm. So this is actually how she dresses when she goes out like into Scotland in disguise. And there oh, was this, this whole... disguise? Look? Yes. So there was a whole story in the paper recently about this couple who... American couple who was out in Scotland and... They encountered the queen. She was by her palace or whatever over there, and she was just talking about Scotland. And they had no idea that this was the queen. And they had actually asked her, "Do you ever see the queen often?" She said, "Oh, I run into her once or, tw once or twice." Did they badmouth her? They had no. They didn't badmouth her, but they had no idea they were talking to the queen of England because this is how she dresses in this yeah. frumpy little, you know, head scarf and this. She looks so like uh, Mrs. Boots. Doubtfire. She looks like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> And yes, they're clocking her for her nose, and she's like, this is my nose. I didn't do any prosthetics, I didn't do any of the contouring, but she makes her face look so different from one look to the other. She does. Her blocking outfit. And she looks great. Called. She does great in her makeup. See, there she is in that outfit. She looks adorable. <laughs> it's it's super cute. It is a Vivian. It's super cute. She did a really good job on this one. <sighs> <laughs> I really want to like vinegar. Strokes. Vinegar strokes. She's got great spirit. She has great spirit, but that dress so it's not flattering. It looks like she, uh, she's like it, she's wearing a caftan. It looks like almost. Also, it doesn't show off her figure. We're not going to talk about the critiques because we're doing it now. But she did said that line that I hate. I'll do better next time. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I'll bring it. You're gonna time. see it. You're gonna see well, it. Well, let's see it now. Let's see it now before you're eliminated. I the hat. I mean the it, the turban. She matches the color scheme of what the queen was wearing in that picture. But, but it's not. It's not the same design because no. she's wearing a caftan. Gonna go straight to the caftan. Whereas um, the, the queen, queen is wearing, is wearing like, more of a dress this, with a yeah. belt. It shows off her little figure. 
See? You see it? You see it? There it is. You see? Yeah. Not the same. Not the same. Not the same. But um, perhaps, they're not trying to completely duplicate though. Just right. Like I understand. Show, that, so. But how about a little bit more similar? Yes. Exactly. Um, listeners of Pretty Dumb Podcast, I will try and post pictures so you can follow along. Yeah. Mother. Um, up next we have Gothy Kendall. Which why are you mad? So. Why are you mad? I just... They said she was nervous, which I totally understand. It looked like she's wearing a skirt, and she was just like, I forgot my top, so I'm going to put a sash on. Ooh, that's what I thought, too. I was like, she's... It's a nude illusion, and it doesn't work for the dress, because in the dress she's duplicating, the queen has this white corset-type top to it. She is kind of wearing, yeah, a nude illusion, which is weird. Yeah. Yeah, it just doesn't get it. Like, the queen would not go out topless... With a skirt on. I'm Actually, sorry. her hair is more bushy. Again, I know we're not doing exact duplicates. But still, but the to hair give is the... bushy. And why are you mad? Yeah, and she's she has a very sour puss look on her face. Sour puss. Too bad she's not scary. Cat. For me, it's a boot. I like the outfit. Okay, <sighs> scary cat. Scary cat. Um, Baby queen. So this is this is so weird because her makeup looks so good in other looks, but then in this one, your uh-huh. contour is so dark. I don't think I think it might have just looked better if she didn't have the whole baby queen. Also, I feel like it's so simple. Yeah. Like this in the in the queen's look, she's got like these big poofy sleeves. Yeah. To me, it's very much um, when what's her face did um, baby blue for snatch game challenge. Like, why are you gonna be Mm. the baby? The fixin. Yeah. Oh. (laughs) So this is scary cat. I'm a little scaredy of that cat. All right, next up we have Divina de Campo. I like the dress. Who looks like Cruella de Bill. I like the dress. This one? Yes. Uh, I mean, and Divina? Yes, I like it. Um, I do like it. I like it until she took off the top and was like, look, I'm wearing a bathing suit underneath. I thought that was more like a corset look. I don't know what it was, but um, I liked This I liked the dress, dress would look over. cute with a fan, though, if she yes. had a fan. But it doesn't really match the queen's No, because the queen's wearing a gra- She's duplicating a she graduation. Looks like she's wearing more of a coat. Yeah. It's like a graduation um, cloak almost. Yeah. Like, Did she have a purse? I don't remember if she had a purse. Um, Did Vina? Yeah. I don't believe so. I don't think but I don't think it would have worked with a purse. No, but still, the queen always has a purse. She's like, the queen is like Sophia Petrillo. She always has a purse. Yeah, I know who that is. Yeah, you know Sophia? Oh, you don't watch Golden Girls. That's right. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, this is awkward. awkward. Okay, moving on. I gotta go. I gotta yeah. go. I need um, a new. I need a new um, co sidekick host person. So those were the looks. Um, the winner was the winner was well. So who was safe? So blue, Chris, uh, Crystal, blue, and Scaredy and Davina were safe. safe. Yes. Yay. Uh, Baga. Baga was safe. Been, um, Bega was... No, so Bega was up there. Bega was up there, but she was still safe. Um, Do you put them all down? I just put the winner in the bottom, too. I don't have for the second bottom, too. So, Gothi was in the bottom. Oh, Gothi and um, Vinegar. Gothi and Vinegar were in the bottom, too. The winner was the Vivian. The winner was the Vivian. She did really good. Even though she wasn't going to heels. Sorry. We have a guest! Yay! We have a guest! So he's probably in here. He's not part of the show. Huh? Is that your laptop? Yeah, this is my laptop. No, no, there is. Yes, this is my laptop. Can you see if you can connect to HPAC or if you are connected? I will check and see. While we're looking, here's a message from our sponsors. (laughs) Um. So, the Vivian was in the top. Even the was at the top. Michelle was reading her. I can connect. We have connection. Yay. I'm connected. We have connection. We have connection. We have connection. So, the top was the Vivian. So Vivian won. Um, even though she was red for her game, okay, did you think she should have worn heels? I understand why she didn't. They're saying that both characters don't want to wear heels. Yeah, and, but they were like, oh, but you're still doing drag, so you should wear heels because. She got lucky. Yeah. So I don't necessarily think she should have worn heels, but I can understand where they're coming from, but because it's a drag competition, you oh, should have worn heels. Yeah. 
So the bottom two was Gothi Kendall and Vinegar Strokes. Which Gothi? I agreed with Vinegar Strokes. Gothi Kendall had no. Oh, I'm um, sorry, you guys do the podcast? Yep. Yeah. Shit, I'm sorry. That's alright. <laughs> You're just our special guest right You're now. You're our special guest! Woo! Yes. Yes. Um, I, I, Gothi Kendall had no energy. True, but I don't think she should have been in the bottom two. Not necessarily in the bottom two, but I mean, that whole performance, she had no. So we lip sang to Dua Lipa, and her performance was. It was flat. She did it her like, own stuff. She did it in her own, like. Vinegar started out slow, and then she just, like, boom, she turned one, it on. Two, three, four. But she. Gothi was just very flat. She Vinegar really did pull out towards the ending with the, with the wig. Yeah. Oh, the wig reveal. Boom, 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 boom. 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 Which we've seen before. And yeah. Then, as they say, if you're going to take your wig off, you better have a sickening wig underneath. Yeah. And she didn't. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. She didn't. And she also, that wig though. almost came off, though. Did you see? Yeah. She had to fix the gold She had one. glitter, though. She had glitter that stuck more to her forehead than it did under your hair. She had glitter, so that was, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Gothi goes home. Gothi goes home. Gothi so We don't get to see this anymore, which yeah. I thought was adorable, even though I didn't know what she was doing. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because Gothi was like, it's sad that I went home on a look challenge. Which, is, a look which has queen. happened before. Uh, Trix Mattel went home on her comedy, right? On her comedy. It's happened before. It's usually where someone does the most bragging about this is what mm-hmm. I do good at. And that's usually what they go home Stop on. Stop relying on that talent. Mm-hmm. You just, you know. So, any, what do you, any final thoughts? Anything? You um, can... Let me see. Who am I rooting for? I'm rooting for Bag of Chips. Personally. I think Bag of Chips will get a little far. Um, I feel like Vivian will get far. Vivian will get far. I'm hoping Bag of Chips gets far. Um, I'm hoping... Uh, what's her name? Um, It'll be interesting to see... The one with the mohawk. I hope she gets far. Yeah. She kind of reminds of Acid Buddy. She does. And it'll be interesting to see how far Scaredy Cat gets being the whole... Straight boy of the Yeah, group, I, I like, feel like she's gonna get far though. Well, she goes on the top. I don't think she'll get up to the top, but I think she'll like get middle. pretty far, yeah. Okay. Um, and I kind of wonder if like they're gonna do a makeover challenge and bring on her girlfriend and have to then do her funny. her girlfriend who normally does boy drag and wears a girl. That'd be too easy though. It'd be a little too easy, but yeah. Um, Crystal's kind of forgettable to me though. Who? Exactly. Now, my question is, is Blue Hydrangea gonna finally wear blue since she's like, I only wear blue. Yeah, I, I have high hopes for Blue Hydrangea. I have high hopes. Um, mainly because she's a cute boy. Yeah. From Ireland. You're Irish. Yes. Irish and Scottish and German and French. We got our own UK here. Yeah. Mate. Tip, tip, cheerio. Yeah, I don't know if I have any favorites yet, though. You got favorites yet? Do so because that? I'm rating for Cheryl. <laughs> I'm just, just not enough noise. I hit the bottle already. Because I'm rooting for bag of chips, she's gonna go home early. I'm sorry. True but that. It's just my True curse. That. Maybe uh, I shouldn't root for her. I'm gonna root for Gothi Kendall. Gothi Kendall. Oh wait. Oh. oh. I I kind of am feeling for maybe bag of yeah. chips. Davina the Campo. I don't know about Vinegar Strokes, man. Yeah. Unless, she, looks Unless they get to actually do like a singing dancing challenge and until that point. But even then, sometimes the singing queens don't win. Yeah. I'm sure Hole, I think, might have more of her sure. Even though yeah. she was on the bottom and she threw a tantrum and untucked. A, a little she was like, fuck this happening. I love the British. Because they're like, what did they say about you? I love the sure, British tantrum because it's just like, oh, well, fuck this hat. But and then everyone's like, <gasps> Now, if this was in America, they'd be like, ah! And, like, the wig would get sure, pulling sure. off. I wonder if there's going to be fights in this one. Or if it's going to be, like, the British Baking Show, where everyone is polite. Everyone and is like, so nice. Oh, no, you put your cake in the oven. I was using Oh, oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. This was my oven. I will go to another oven now. That's my bad British Which accent. Which accent? I was like, it's not like, I was really sure. That's my bad British accent. British I can't. Sure. Sorry. I apologize to well, my people for that. The eye oh, snap. Is um, that it? I think that might be it. Do we want water? No. No, we're good. We've been working so hard. Oh my god. Do you need water? Off my brow. Do you need some water? I, I'm so, fun. I'm wondering, like, are they going to do a Snatch Game? They got it, right? They got it. Are going to be, like, British things. celebrities for a Snatch yeah. Game? Or are they going to win that's going to be an awesome one? We're going to get, like, a lot of Harry Potters and Imelda Stantons and some, uh, 
Sir Maggie, uh, Dave Maggie Smith. Smith. Speaking of, um, you don't know Carter, though, snap, snap, snap. you can't even say her name, so don't play me. Who's really? that? Who's about really? Really? Umbridge. Oh, is that okay. her name? Okay, so, I'm horrible with names. You have to go and watch her in Gypsy. No, 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 I saw her play Mama. Yes. She's sickening. She but speaking of Umbridge and Harry Potter, have you been watching, or do you follow Kiki O'Hara? A little bit. If you follow, you can't follow a little bit. I follow Instagram. the fee, but not the fee. You're dumb. Yeah. So, just like the 365 Days of Drag, Fifi's now doing Harry Potter characters. Yeah. She's done Moaning Murder so far. She's done the guy who date rapes um, Harry Potter. Date rapes Harry Potter. Like putting the potion and Slughorn. Slughorn. Um, she's done Umbridge. She's done um, Murdo. She's doing them all. Prothesis and everything. Oh, she's done the, the rat. Um, what was his name? Peter Pettigrew. Yeah, Peter Pettigrew. She's on him. Follow it. Second. What about Voldemort? Not yet, but I can't wait to see Voldemort. Yeah. I also can't wait to see her do... Yeah, she, she, always, she always does amazing looks. She does. She does Anyways, uh, next episode they're doing an acting challenge already. Yay! Um, I think I'm also going to start writing down slangs that I don't understand. Oh, you should. There's a lot that I didn't. We can do something like look it up on like British I understand slag. or something. Slag is you are one. I'm a slag. I know they have a slang word for a drunk. Slosh. Sloshed. I'm a slaggy slosh. Like, you know who we need on this to, to phone in and talk to us is Franny. Because even though she's not British, she's Australian, she's Australian and they're Australian. like so close with their slang sometimes. Are they? Yeah. Because Australia was a British like prison colony type thing back in the day. So. Alright, so we're done. Is that it? Are we done? I believe so. Yay. Shall we send off with some music? Okay, are we gonna have a dance party music? Until next episode. Pip pip chip. Pip, Why does it sound like my country fair is the yes, but it's God Save the Queen? Let me fan their content. Doesn't it sound like my mm-hmm. Oh boy. Alright, we are ending that fail. Yeah. Alright. Until next episode, see ya. Goodbye.